Hey, welcome back to a brand new episode of One Hundred and One Second Review. Today, I'm going to be talking about this Godzilla King of Monsters, of course, a sequel to Godzilla from a few years ago by Gareth Edwards. And this, of course, you can't just have Godzilla now. So you've got Rodan, you've got Mothra, and so forth, and they're all basically battling it out, destroying the Earth. They're eco-terrorists who feel that that is what's going to save the Earth. And of course, there's the good guys, if you want to put it like that, and all manner of other nonsense going on in this very loud movie. And I'll be back in a second to talk about it some more. Now, when Gareth Edwards dropped out of this project, he was originally assigned to direct this follow-up. He was very adamant that he did not want this to end in a straightforward link to another sequel. That's why he left the project. And, of course, it does do that, obviously, because this is a big studio thing and this is big money we're talking about. But Michael Doherty, the person who took over from him, was co-writer at the time, has described this, and I think it's pretty accurate to a certain extent. This is the aliens to Edward's alien. And I think that's pretty accurate in that in Alien, it's pretty contained, small, you have Godzilla on his own, and like a pretty kind of small dramatic cast around that, and in this, it's like expanded. You have multiple monsters, things are already going over the earth and so forth. So I think that's pretty good, only of course that they're not as good as Alien and Aliens as movies. In this, you have this kind of idea. The first 20 to 30 minutes I actually enjoyed in that the notion of the eco-terrorist and what they actually want and how they see what's going on in the world is actually quite interesting. And it provides a little layer of depth to everything that goes on. The problem is beyond that, when all the monsters are released and so forth, what you have then is pitch battle, filler, pitch battle, filler, pitch battle. So you can see where the makers, where all their attention, all the love, all the detail, all the passion has gone into and that is into having these incredible kind of like noisy loud special effects battles between these great monsters or titans as they're called in the movie everything else pretty much is a foregone conclusion that it's largely terrible one way or the other you have to either beef those moments up or cut the movie down to be 80 minutes long and focus on what it is that you love about it you can't have it both ways okay right thanks for watching i'll be back again soon